Cian was a Twi'lek female mercenary. At some point she worked with the Mandalorian bounty hunter Din Djarin. Xian later encountered the Djarin once more when the two of them were hired by Ranzer Malk to rescue Kin, Xian's brother, who was imprisoned aboard a New Republic prison ship. The team intended to betray Djarin and leave him for dead, but Djarin managed to escape and trap the members of the team inside one of the transport cells. Xian became a mercenary and at some point worked with her brother Kin, the mercenary Ranzar Malk and the Mandalorian bounty hunter Din Djarin. One of her jobs, alongside Din Djarin, was on Alzok Tree. She also had a relationship with Djarin. However, actions by Din Djarin led to the fallout of the group and the capture of Kin. In 9 ABY, Malk formed a team of mercenaries including Xian, the human Mayfeld, the Deveronian Berg and the droid Q90. Malk also called in the Mandalorian in order to use his ship the Razor Crest, which was pre-Imperial era and was off the Galactic Empire and New Republic grids. Xian went to greet Jarin while he met the rest of the team and waved a dagger at him. The team began planning their infiltration of the New Republic prison ship holding Kin. Jarin was skeptical about getting in trouble with the New Republic, but Xian told him that the prison ship was crowded by droids, knowing that the bounty hunter hated droids. After determining their plan, the mercenaries began traveling for the prison ship on the Razor Crest, which Zero piloted. The rest of the team sat in the cargo hold where Jaring quarreled with Berg. Berg and Mayfeld also talked about Mandalorians and when Mayfeld mentioned Xiang's experience with them, she asked Jaring to tell the pair about Alzok Tree. When Berg tried to remove Jaring's helmet, the bounty hunter fought back and the Deveronian accidentally opened a door, revealing an infant alien. Mayfeld asked if Xian and Jarin made it, and Xian asked if the bounty hunter code made the bounty hunter soft when he said it was a pet. Zero announced to the rest of the team that the Razor Crest was approaching the prison ship and began maneuvering it to land on the transport unnoticed. Xian was frustrated that the droid did not give them a countdown. So anyways guys, with that being said, let me know what do you think about Xi'an the Twi'lek mercenary. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop thumbs up for the video to support our channel. I thank you also very much for your kind support and until next video, may the force be with you always. <laughs>